Well, good morning, YouTube. Louie here, and welcome to the weekend. I'm going to do a little bit of a different video this me this uh, morning. Uh, this is going to be a walkthrough of my off-grid uh, installation for uh, how I power the house and um, oh, got a spider web on there. How I power the house and how I drive without using gasoline. So uh, I'll make this pretty quick. But uh, we finished the installation of the uh, Tesla Powerwall. Um, about a month ago and now it's up and running and I thought I'd just give you a run through of everything that allows me to uh, keep my costs low uh, in a high cost state such as California. Uh, you know, uh, at the present time, right now as we speak in the summer, uh, the gas and electric company is charging, I think it's 64 cents a kilowatt. Now I know a lot of you only pay, you know, 10 cents and so forth in other states, but in California, uh, the sunshine tax has got us here and uh, we have a rather unscrupulous uh, electricity vendor and uh, 64 cents a kilowatt is what they're charging. Um, what I'm paying is uh, virtually nothing right now. So let me show you the whole system. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the solar panels. All right, here we are in the backyard. Uh, that's the tough shed I built some time ago. I pour silver in there. And here's the uh, the house, the, the back side of the house. So to give you, I'm trying to keep the sun out of the shot. But there are something in the neighborhood of 30 panels up there. All right. And um, these produce uh, maximum, I think it's rated for maybe seven kilowatts, continuous kilowatts per hour. Um, on, on a good day, I get six. Okay, so there is a system. Uh, a word about um, solar. Um, I was lucky that uh, when I bought this house, it was uh, somewhat in distress and the people wanted to get out. I got a good deal and uh, the solar system was pretty much thrown in for free. They were not the original owners of the house. Um, they uh, purchased it from the original owners who put a bunch of money into the solar system, um, but they didn't really see the value in it and uh, I don't think we paid much for it. So that is, uh, you know, that's an excellent scenario. If uh, when you're purchasing a house um, and, uh, you know, with prices coming down here, perhaps you can get a deal on a, a solar system as well. Um, of course, they are quite expensive to install, and this one is probably not as efficient as some of the newer ones. Uh, I'll show you the uh, inverter and such here in a minute. But, uh, you know, insist on uh, them paying off their system before they, uh, before you buy the house. And uh, you, you may just, in, you just, you just may inherit one of these if you're in a high utility cost state like California. At least that, that's what happened to us. It was really a windfall. Be right back. And the uh, new trees that we uh, put in recently are starting to, uh, starting to take root. Um, that's gonna be nice to have, um, have some trees back here. This was not planted. Okay, so as we walk around the, uh, the house, I'll get you over to the inverter side. We can talk more about that solar system. But, uh, you know, I mean, quite a few days uh, of the year, we're producing upwards of six uh, kilowatts per hour. Um, and I think, you know, that could easily be 30 kilowatts in a day. So that's the size of my system. It is bigger than uh, many I've seen, but my house is not large, so I'm sure that uh, most houses could accommodate um, a seven kilowatt solar system. All right, here is the inverter. Again, it's a few years old. This is a Freenius uh, inverter. And uh, uh, looks like it says my total capacity is 7.512 um, kilowatts. Um, so I was a little off with the seven, but we generally don't uh, produce more than six. Uh, currently at seven something in the morning, we're already getting 277 watts. But here is the installation of the power wall. So we had to add this diverter box. We have a backup system that will power the house in the case of a, a power outage, which they are planning for a rolling power outages uh, here in California. Uh, there is a, there's a disconnect of some kind, I believe. And we also took the opportunity to upgrade our panel to, to uh, 
uh, 20 amp. Okay, coming around the side, here's how they connected it. I know not the most attractive thing in the world, but here are the components. We'll start with the battery itself. There is the power wall. I mounted mine outside because there just wasn't enough room in my two car garage. This is pretty protected out here. Another connection. And then there is the, uh, I think that's where all the CPUs and stuff are. So uh, talk a little bit more about the battery now. And that's where it is, That all. that's all there is. I wanted to get two, but they are expensive and I had to pay for this one out of pocket. Um, although, and I paid cash, although there are um, rebates that are available, uh, double, triple level rebates. So you probably get about 40% of your money back, depending on the deal you cut. And uh, of course, um, when I first started researching Power Walls, um, I heard that uh, the Power Wall 2 was not available. Well, that turned out to not be true. I'm not sure where that, all those videos with hundreds of thousands of views uh, got that information, but my local installer, who I found on Instagram, um, he, he had them ready to go and we signed a contract and the whole thing was in the works uh, within about five days once I decided to proceed. Um, the reason I picked the Tesla Powerwall is that um, the Tesla um, the Tesla technology is a liquid cooled technology and it's one of the few uh, battery packs that employ the same technology that they have in the te Tesla vehicles, uh, liquid cooled uh, battery technology, which will uh, significantly improve the performance and the life of your battery. Uh, Tesla is not the only one that makes those. Uh, I have a Kia e Nero, um, which uh, I should probably show you in the driveway. And the Kia e Nero also has a liquid cooled battery technology. Uh, in the old days, the batteries um, were very fragile, didn't last long. But, uh, you know, these new um, generation batteries like the Tesla battery can, uh, can literally be around for 10, 20 years and still be producing um, power, right? So that's why I went with the Tesla uh, power wall. Um, so let me give you a look at that, uh, that uh, Kia e Nero. All right, here is the Kia e Nero. And um, this is on a lease. I picked this up uh, winter of uh, uh, last year. And uh, literally the cost on this is uh, $299 a month on a lease. Um, it was about $4,000 down, but 2,000 of that comes back uh, from the state of California, if you're here. I don't believe Tesla qualifies for the rebate any longer, and I don't believe it qualifies for the HOV stickers as well, which is essential in California. And uh, you'll pay twice as much. So uh, if you like that deal, get a Tesla. But it's the same technology um, in the Kia e Nero battery as it is in the Tesla battery. This car has a 260 mile uh, range, all electric, and I am charging um, uh, off the solar, uh, mostly on the weekends when I'm home. So in that scenario, um, I'm driving, uh, you know, $2.99 a month is the, the payment. I'm purchasing no gas, all right? I drive exclusively with power from the, uh, you know, the seven kilowatt um, system on the roof, which I charge over the weekend. Now, how, do, how does the battery, uh, the Tesla battery, kind of round this all off? Well, because of the uh, time of use rates, in other words, the rate can be as high as um, 65 cents a kilowatt in the summer um, to, and range as low as uh, 22 cents, I believe. And, uh, you know, 22 cents might sound high to some of you, but um, that's a bargain in California. So what it will do is it will accumulate uh, up to 14 kilowatts of, uh, of power um, while the solar is charging, and this is mostly my Monday through Friday strategy because I'm not home, but it'll accumulate that power. And then when you go into the peak periods, which I think start at 4 p.m., of course it's engineered so you cannot avoid using electricity in the peak periods, 
That's why uh, the gas electric company does that. Um, but then we power the home from uh, the wall battery. Okay, and then uh, the next day we power the uh, the solar comes back up to five six kilowatts per hour. We uh, restore the charge uh, to the the Tesla battery, and uh, then it, it just parks that energy until we need it at a higher um, at a higher usage rate time period. Um, I generally don't charge the car off the battery because the car um, is literally sixty four kilowatts. Okay, so that is the size of the battery. 64 is uh, what about four times? It's about four of those Tesla Power Walls inside that Kia E Nero. That 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 is the storage capacity of the new electric vehicles. I know there are some vehicles uh, these days you can literally power your house from them. Um, if you do get an EV, you don't need to get an expensive charging system. Um, I have an old 220 that used to power a, a welder, and uh, I just put an adapter plug on it and I bought a $150 charging unit off eBay, and I can charge anywhere from um, 10 watts up to uh, 32 watts, I think it is, with the click of a button. And that, that's how I um, dial in how much, uh, how much uh, energy I store into the car at one time. Because for example, we may, today, we may generate six kilowatts per hour, but I may have the air conditioning on and that may suck up three. So um, I, w I wouldn't want to be charging at a rate higher than two or three kilowatts per hour uh, into, the, uh, into the vehicle. So having a variable uh, charging unit is really essential if you're gonna try to time your usage and uh, bring your bill down to zero. There still are connection charges um, and so forth. You can't get away from, uh, you know, can't get away from, and you can't uh, be a, a net seller of energy to the electric company. They don't, they don't like that. But you can pretty much zero out your bill uh, with this strategy. So, um, you know, the the, the way that uh, we're saving money here, or prepping, if you will, preserving our cash, is uh, I'm driving. Um, uh, for the cost of no no oil or gas um, by the way uh, electric vehicles require virtually no maintenance all right they don't require brakes they don't require tune-ups um, they um, they literally just like a toaster when's the last time you took your toaster in to uh, be serviced uh, having driven EV for 10 years, I've only had one service issue. It was an AC issue on a Nissan Leaf. And then the other, um, you know, the, the rest of the time, it has been just get in, drive, rotate the tires, replace the washer fluid. Um, and that is really it. So imagine no gas bill. Imagine no oil change bill. Imagine no mechanic uh, bills and uh, brake replacements um, so that that is a great savings of course gas at six dollars plus a gallon in California um, I'm, I'm glad to not be paying that uh, the other advantage of the car which allowed me to so one of the reasons that uh, I'm all in with alternative uh, energy is that uh, it, it literally changed the way that I live by virtue of um, the HOV sticker. And I showed you that HOV sticker. Well, you know, I used to live in a McMansion, right? In a yuppie neighborhood here. And um, I decided to get out of that house, all right? It had a huge carrying cost. And, um, you know, even though prices were appreciating, I decided it was time to pull the plug on that lifestyle and get into more of a ranch lifestyle um, in this modest little house here. It, it also has a bitchin' um, 600 foot uh, workshop slash granny flat. Um, and uh, I was able to push out into uh, the suburbs further with that HOV sticker. So uh, where I had a shorter commute before, um, um, 
you know, my mortgage and uh, my house carrying costs were pretty much double what I pay to live here in the countryside and use the HOV sticker to, to express to work every day near downtown. So uh, the electric vehicle and the HOV sticker uh, made that feasible to trade in the McMansion for the, um, the little homestead here, which we plan to retire in and just get comfortable. Um, so, uh, but uh, yeah, you want, you want to trade in your mortgage payment for a lower mortgage payment, and now housing prices are coming down. Um, well, consider an EV and consider the HOV pass if you're in a metropolitan area. I think people out in you know rural areas may not resonate as much with this uh, with this video, but uh, and get yourself a cheaper house, get yourself further out to the country, but don't be late to work. Use that HOV pass to uh, pass up, um, you know, all all, all the guys. Uh, driving the combustion engines and waiting to get on the freeway for 20 minutes all right so like i said uh, the cost of operating the car is uh, nil um the energy my energy bills my electric bill is um nil and uh that is the uh, one of the ways that i've uh, combined uh, the usage of the, uh, the solar panels the uh the uh, power wall and uh, EV ownership. It's the only way to go, guys. Now, I don't know if you can buy any of these things today where you are, but uh, if, you, if you start putting a strategy together, it can come together to change the way that you live and hopefully um, how you do in retirement. All right, feel free to ask your questions if you'd like a referral to um, the, the solar vendor that uh, sold me. My stuff, uh, just go ahead and email me at losinglouie at yahoo.com. I'll give you that referral. But um, that's how I'm doing it, and I'd love to know your thoughts. I'll put a few pictures of the, um, the app. Of course, everything is app-driven with Tesla, and you can modify the usage of um, the power wall, uh, whether it be for backup only. In the case of a power uh, outage, you know, you'll still have your refrigerator and your internet and so forth. Um, or you want to put all that energy into uh, lowering your electric bill. There's an app to let you do that. It tells you everything that's going on in your house and then provides reports as well. So um, I'll give you some screenshots of that app, but I don't want to make the video too long. It's just, it, it all works and it works well. And um, it's a hell of a lot better than being a slave to uh, the utility company. This is Louie signing out. Thanks for watching, guys.